easy to do. You, the drivers are faced with a lot of obstacles and challenges throughout their day and throughout their week and throughout their year. So to hit a 1 million mile plateau is really, really something special. Now, last year when we reintroduced this, we recognized 115 contractors and drivers that hit a 1 million mark. We recognized 17 that hit a 2 million mile mark. And we hit, and we uh, recognized th uh, two that hit a 3 million mile mark. So a lot of drivers that we recognized last year. Now this year, you know, we, ha we have another group. We've got 18 additional contractors and drivers that hit the 1 million mile threshold. We've got seven that hit the 2 million mile mark. We've got one that hit a 3 million mile plateau. And we have three that hit a 4 million mile mark this year. So that is really, really something special. Now we are very, very privileged. That's 163 contractors and drivers in our, in our fleet. And we're very privileged to have drivers such as yourselves in our fleet. Um, so today we're gonna honor the 2021 recipients. But before we do that, you know, I'd like to uh, thank the Oren family for making all of this happen. Uh, I know uh, Dan is out here in the audience. I, I think Brad's out in the audience. Dave wanted to be here today, but he had a family obligation that, that took him away. But I'd like to introduce uh, the chairman of the board, Don Oren. Don's gonna come up and, and say a few words. <laughs> Number one, I'm still here. <laughs> it's been a while. Started in 1969, so that's a pretty good longevity. Uh, first of all, I want to thank those who were involved in arranging this event. A lot of work took place behind the scenes, and I think they deserve a good thank you and a good uh, round of applause. So thank you. Very much. I gotta be careful. I'm mean, also flat away. It's it's really interesting to think back a year ago. What were things like a year ago? What what was going on? Well, we were certainly in the middle of a pandemic. It was very difficult to pick up a load. We never knew if the shipper was going to be open or closed. Same thing with deliveries. You'd show up someplace and the place was locked up. Today it's a little better. Even though we still have the pandemic, we still feel like it's a little more normal. I think it's a little more normal because so many people have the vaccination. And I think we feel a little safer because of that. And I have to just say my motto on vaccination is vaccination, yes. Mandate, no. So... Individual choice, and I hope the government leaves it that way. They're, they're, they may or they may not. You'll have to follow that. Whatever. So, what hasn't changed? That's where we want to focus. Well, the ownership is the same. I'm still here. My sons are working. They've, uh, they've, as you know, there's been changes. Well, first of all, there's been change in the White House. We have a new president, and he's not that crazy about trucks, but it doesn't matter. We all know trucks are essential. They're going to be around. In a, what I like to say is I'm not going to start worrying about it until I see a, a train pull up behind the Target store. <laughs> then I'll worry. Until then, trucks are essential. Trucks will be around, and so will drivers. So let's uh, all feel good about that. What else hasn't changed is the, our commitment to the driver. I'm often forced to make decisions about things and it's pretty easy because I just said to myself what's best for the driver and that's how I decide what to do that's how we decide what we do to go forward what's best for the driver because if it isn't good for you it isn't good for dark so that's a pretty simple formula and it's a pretty simple concept really what what we're trying to do we want to make it Fair compensation. We want to make it less stressful for you on the road. And we want to, when I say lifestyle, not everybody wants the same lifestyle. Not everybody needs the same lifestyle. So what we have to do is try to accommodate 
the lifestyle that's individual to yourself. Now, that may sound like a simple concept, but when you try to make that happen, it's not so simple. To make it happen, we need experienced employees in the office, experienced people in our shops, and experienced people in ownership. And that's what we have. And that's what we hire. And that's our, that's our goal. In fact, I've always appreciated longevity in our employees and our drivers, but I appreciate it even more today than I ever have. Experience really, really matters. I think you can say that we know trucking. We're truckers. We're proud of it. This is what we do. If nothing else, we care to do. And this is exactly what I think we're good at it. So um, let's hope we can all benefit from that. And, uh, I guess I would be great if I didn't mention the word safety. Access not only the person involved in the accident, sometimes it's career ending, but at any event, it hurts the company as well. So every time you get out on the road, remember, try to be safe. And we have the word ethical because sometimes doing the right thing is just as important as, as knowing how to look and lean, how to change lanes and so forth. Sometimes just doing the right thing. And remember, it's not a car, it's not a four-wheeler, it's a family. So with that, I think I'll just let you all enjoy your meal. And, uh, I just want to say it's a great time to be in trucking. It's a great time. So enjoy it. Okay, thanks, Don. Um, like Don had said, you know, there's a lot of things in trucking that have changed. You know, regulations change, roadways change, but there's a few things that haven't changed, and, and Don mentioned some of those. One other thing that hasn't changed that I've noticed is... Dave Oren is still driving the same pickup truck that he had when I started here in 2003. <laughs> so, so that hasn't changed. He still has that. Now, now, what is a what is a million miles? You know, when we talk about a million safe driving miles, how much is that? Well, one way to look at it is a million miles is 40 trips around the earth. Okay, you can drive around the earth 40 times, but in order to get a, a million miles. Dave Orrin's going to have to drive that truck for 27 more years. <laughs> so he's got a ways to go. Now, we recognized 18 drivers and contractors this week for hitting the 1 million mile threshold. I'm just going to read them off. Uh, Ahmed Ahmed, Patricia Alexander, Michael Brazley, Roger Cotton, uh, Mark Covey, Ibrahim Elmi, uh, Corey Fisher. We also have the uh, Lamb, Johnny Hardnett, James Humphrey. Mark Kraus, Alverno Middleton, Abdul Muhammad, Ken Powers, Scott Revel, Marcus Ruffin, Michael Wilms, and Johnny Williams. So we recognize those drivers during the course of the week here for their one million mile mark. Woo! Now our two million mile team. Okay, so what, what is two million miles? Well, that's going to be 80 trips around here. Or that's going to be 72 more years for Dave Warren to drive his pickup truck. <laughs> so we've got seven two million mile recipients. First up is Gary Anderson. Gary, why don't you come on up here? Woo! Gary, who's doing that? I'm going to say a few things about you. So Gary and his wife Lori have two kids and three grandkids. He runs the Anderson Windows dedicated account. He's been driving for over 50 years, and 26 of those years right here at Dart. Now, when he's not driving, he enjoys uh, spending time fishing, spending time with the family, and riding motorcycles. And, and uh, Joanne Welch said, said about Gary, uh, Gary does a good job for a dedicated account, and he's always making sure the customer is taken care of. He always stops in to chat with us each day and sometimes brings us treats. Are you really doing that? <laughs> He's very caring, and it's an honor to have him here at Dark. Thank you, Gary. 
Next up, Mr. Brad Chapelain. Significant daughter Donna. Uh, Brad's got one one son, one stepson, one stepdaughter, and four grandkids, two boys and two girls. Bet you that keeps you busy. <laughs> Brad's been here at DART for 23 years. He's been driving for 34 years. Um, what he enjoys most about driving is being his own boss and setting his own schedule. Now, Lana, his fleet manager, said about Brad, he's a great driver that has been with DART for many years, does an exceptional job for us, and we are very lucky to have him. Thanks, Brad. Next up, Charles Dahlgren. Uh, Charles, it, Charles is married uh, to Kathy. They've been married for 15 years. They've got two children and four grandchildren. Charles has been driving for 43 years, and over 30 of those have been with Dart. What he enjoys most about being at Dart is seeing the country and see in different places. Now what he does when he's not driving is he's working on vehicles, rebuilding cars and trucks, and he enjoys life on the farm. And it sounds uh, like you're officially going to be taking your honeymoon next month after you've been married for 15 years. Yeah. All right, we're, we're finally giving you enough time off to do that or? <laughs> Thank you very much, Charles. Next up, Dale Hutchins. Yeah, yeah. Dale and his wife have eight kids and 18 grandchildren. Woo! Oh, and eight great grandchildren. Wow. Great, great. Okay. Uh, Dale's been driving for uh, 24 years at DART. 34 years, 35 years overall. He enjoys being out in the fog, experiencing new sights. When he's not driving, he loves hanging out with his wife, doing chores, and driving around the country. <laughs> Next up, Michelle Strom. Now, Michelle has a son. Um, what she enjoys most about driving is the driving itself, like being out in traffic. Now, one interesting thing about Michelle, she's been at DART for 16 years. She's been driving for 40 years. She hit the 2 million mile mark, and she spent years and years and years at DART in our uh, Twin City short haul uh, group. So a lot of driving in a congested area, a lot of short haul, and still came up with 2 million miles. That's fantastic. Now, Jim Williamson, uh, Michelle's fleet manager, said Michelle is remarkably easy to work with and only asks that we communicate as effectively as possible with her. Thank you, Michelle. Now, we have two other uh, two million mile recipients that weren't able to be here today. Uh, Walter Bray and John Neely were not able to make it in today, but congratulations to those two gentlemen as well. Now on to three million miles. Now, 3 million miles is going to be about 120 times around the Earth. And Dave Orn's going to have to drive his pickup truck for 118 more years <laughs> <laughs> in order to hit that 3 million mile mark. Uh, this year, our, our 3 million mile recipient, Stephen Aerosmith. Come on up, Stephen. <laughs> now, Stephen and his wife, Susan, have three kids, four grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. Uh, his his uh, fleet manager, Michelle Hammond, said, Stephen's an excellent driver with an equally as impressive safe driving record. He has spent most of his career right here at DART. He's always willing to answer the call to help with loads, move trailers, or help the customer when asked. He's truly an asset to our company. Stephen is also a military veteran, and we thank him for his service to our country as well. There's more. We have four million mile recipients today. Woo! 
So what is 4 million miles? Okay, we're back to 160 laps around the Earth. And Dave Warren's going to have to hang on to his pickup truck for another 163 years in order to hit that milestone. So we've got a couple of guys here today. Uh, first up, John Barofka. Linda, have four kids. They have two grandkids. John uh, runs our uh, Anderson Windows dedicated account. He's been driving here at Dart for 34 years, 42 years overall. Likes boating, tractor pulling, trips, vacations with friends and family, and watching the Green Bay Packers. Oh! <laughs> I got some mixed uh, mixed uh, responses there. <laughs> uh, Joanne Welch said, John is great to work with, and we always look forward to him stopping in on his way through. He's probably worn out I-94 with all his trips to Chicago for us throughout the years. It's a great part of our team at Anderson Dedicated. Congratulations. Woo! Next up, Scott Swenson. Now, now, Scott and his wife, Nancy, have four kids and four grandkids. Scott's running our Anderson Windows dedicated account as well. Scott's been driving for 46 years, and all 46 of those have been at Dart. So, congratulations. Oh, when he's not driving, he enjoys hunting, four wheeling, helping with the church, and helping his kid with kids with home renovations. He's a bit of a handyman. It kind of sounds like the whole neighborhood and community uh, count on you to be that handyman. Uh, your fleet manager said Scott's been a great addition to the Anderson Windows team. He likes to start early and get the job done with doing anything we ask. Scott has been at DART ever since he was a kid, and it's always fun listening to the stories about DART in the early years. He's a great driver and, and fun guy to work with. Thanks a lot, Scott. And our last recipient is uh, John Gill, and John was not able to make it in today as well. So thank you to all the two or three and four million miles. And then in closing, I would just like to thank uh, Jenny and Judy and Jennifer. Uh, we've got Rich and, and Greg over there on the grills. We've got the whole crew over here helping out with food. There's way too many names to list here. <laughs> but, you know, it takes a lot to put like, something like this together. And I want to thank everybody for doing that. But especially, I want to thank our contractors and our drivers um, that are out there every day, all in the freight, facing the challenges that you guys face every day, and making that commitment to driving ethically and protecting lives. Thank you very much for that. Woo! 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 Woo!